Hi, this is Nick from PrimeLoops.com. I want to tell you a little bit about the basics of using effect sends in Ableton Live. Now often when someone is using an effect, they just drop it right onto a track, like this. And then they can play the audio through that effect. And they can use this dry wet knob to balance how much of the dry audio, that is the unaffected audio, and the wet audio, which is the affected audio, will come through. So for instance, I can have 71% biased in favor of the affected audio and then 29% of the dry audio coming through just by adjusting the knob to 71%. Well another way to use effects in Ableton Live and just about any other program for that matter is to put them on return tracks. Return tracks are best when you have one set of effects settings on a device that you want to use across multiple different tracks. So say I wanted to apply the same kind of reverb to both of these drum breaks but I wanted to apply it in different amounts to each break. That's where effects sends and returns come in. So let's look at how to do that. Really it's as simple as dragging your effect right onto the return itself. As you can see I've dragged the reverb onto the A return track and it's renamed it. Now anytime you drag an effect onto a return track and it has a dry wet parameter, you always want to set it to 100% wet. The reason for that is that now the send knobs on the individual tracks are taking over the responsibility of balancing between the dry and wet audio. So all you want coming out of the return tracks is 100% wet audio. Now if I play these two drum tracks together, I can assign this reverb in varying amounts to either one of these tracks. So those are the basics of sends and returns. It really boils down to a simple way to use similar effect settings applied to multiple different tracks at once. It's a great way to save CPU power because you're only using one effect instead of multiple effects for each track. Additionally, using one reverb unit like this is a great way to unify the sound of all of your tracks. I'll see you next time for more audio production tips and tricks. Stay creative!